now we're going to go to campus because I need to do a part of my experiment. I'm gonna run a 96 well analysis quickly. And then we're running around moving furniture today. Again, we already moved, but we're getting more things. So let's hit the road. successfully moved everything yesterday even though we were up down and all around town we first had to drive down to Johannesburg pick up a trailer there pick up the first batch of furniture bring that back here unload that load stuff that was here drive that back to Johannesburg unload that there drive back give back the trailer drive somewhere to have drinks with the friends who helped us just to say thanks for carrying heavy stuff for us drive to my dad's house, have dinner there, and then come back. It was a lot of up and down, but we do have couches now with stuff on it because I'm busy packing, but we do have couches now instead of a random bed just sitting here. So that is fantastic. I just finished doing my makeup kind of just for funsies. I'm trying to finish this foundation that you guys know of that doesn't really match me. This is why it doesn't look like my color. I tried putting on like a really, really thin layer, but I still feel like, I don't know. I look pink, I look kind of shiny, even though I did put a lot of powder on, but the reason why I'm packing is we're gonna go stay with my mom for the week. Her partner's away on work and she doesn't like staying home alone, so we're gonna stay there, basically just keep her company and cook for her. For some reason, my mom likes my cooking, even though I don't think I can cook, so I packed everything. I'm about to go pick up Aiden. We're then gonna go vaccinate this little thing. Hello. You're gonna go get your second round of shots and then you're done with the vet for a while. You're cute, but now you're looking all disinterested. Hmm? And then the two of them are coming with us for the week. Yes, you are. Let me put you down. But after that, we're hitting the road, hoping for the best with traffic. And then, yeah, taking it from there. There's always something happening. mom's house we were here for the last couple of days just keeping her company while her partner's out of town but not too much happened everything kind of just flew by this week of course there's a car being like super loud right now but not much happened this week it just flew by Aiden's in the background say hello hello <laughs> 
he's carrying things to the car out the back but the one thing that did happen this week is Aiden has like a thing on his arm that's been sore so we went to a doctor and they referred us somewhere to go get like an ultrasound to see exactly what's going on so we're packing the car we're gonna go do that this morning then I'm gonna drop Aiden off at work and then I'm going back to Pretoria because I need to get some stuff ready I've been working on my data because I have a meeting with my supervisor tomorrow and some of my details are in my lab book that I left on campus so I need to get back and do that otherwise we would have stayed like another day with my mom but oh well but yeah I think Aiden has the last load with him in the car right now so I'm just gonna grab the kitties and we're gonna hit the road and this is the fit today I'm wearing a messy bun because I like wash my hair so it's too clean to do anything with it and it's just like all over the place now and then this dress very pouncing just so you know, Aiden isn't walking out back to pack things because I was standing by the door. I was standing by the door, I was using this light, but this gate's locked. My mom took this key, so we can't use this door. We have the key for back there and that's how we're leaving, okay? But it's cute getting to see you pack. Let me go get those cats. Where are you guys? Oh, there's one, an itty bitty, hello spinach. Oh, oh. And there's the other one. Hello, Kabubby. She's so cute. This one. This one is still dumb. She's too dumb to be cute, but she'll get there. Come, come. Let me get you. No. <laughs> come. I'm going to pick you up. Oh, 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 oh. Got you, got you, got you. Good girl. But we can go. Are you ready? Yes, let's go. Tired? Yes, let's go. Let's go. It's been an early morning. We've had a whole day and the day hasn't even started yet. Yeah. Okay, so it's a few hours later. We've had Aiden's hand looked at, and now we're waiting to get the results. I'm looking a mess because it's hot out. I'm gonna have the aircon off now because I'm gonna be filming. I am running around doing some errands. I got back and I was so tired. I thought I was gonna chill a bit, eat something, rest a little bit, and then start running around. Oh, the radio. So that is what I did. Hey, wait, it's not working for me right now. I can do this. I can pull out of the parking spot. Okay, that's better. I ate something. I chilled a little bit. I put on like a semblance of makeup because I was just like craving putting on some makeup for some reason. But I didn't want to like do the whole full glam thing, especially if I'm not like filming a video. And I know I'm going to be sweaty because it's super hot out. So I was like, you know what? Just put on some mascara, a little bit of eyeshadow, a little bit of lipstick. It's not the cutest, but it scratched the itch. Oh, I got locked out of the apartment because our security gate like doesn't open. So the property manager had to come and help me open it and stuff. But I went to go pick up my lab book on campus because I need to work with some of my data and I need the information in here. Like I wrote down where I put what in my 96 well plate. You know, I had all the data, but I didn't know what was what, so I couldn't really conclude anything. Then I went to go laminate Aiden's little Valentine's Day gift. Here we go. It's all cute and shiny, and now it won't, like, get wrecked with time. Now I'm going to the embassy to try and get some of my visa stuff sorted for when I go to Norway later this year. I don't think I'm going to get much done. I think I'm pretty much just going to get an appointment, but that is a step in the right direction. It's super hot, so I hope we're not queuing too long. And I hope there's a fan in the car. Oh, there is a fan in the car. Happy days. But yeah, let me show you what the embassy looks like. I just came to check if I look okay, which other than the hair being a mess, I look fine. And you can tell I was crying just a little bit because people suck. I went to the visa center and it was just incredibly unpleasant. People were talking to me, they were laughing at me, they were all trying to tell me I was like in the wrong place but I didn't know if I was. So no visa stuff is happening today because I went to the visa center and they said, well no they didn't say it. I didn't even get to the front desk. There was a group of people standing on the door, I don't know if they're queuing or not, I asked if they were queuing, they said no and they were like, what are you doing? And I'm like, oh I'm here to apply for a visa, I'm in the right place and they were all like, oh no you're in the wrong place, it needs to be in this place but I'm not going to tell you where it is, I'll just drive you, it's okay. And I was like, no I just want to, you know, go in see what this place is because this is where Aiden did his visa and they were like no oh, no it's not here I'm not letting you in you don't even have to go in there it's a waste of time and there was a guard who was kind of like just laughing along and I was uncomfy and they just kept insisting like no drive with me I'll take you and I was just like no I'm okay it's fine and they wanted to know like how did you get here where do you live and I just I didn't want to tell people this stuff because it was a bunch of guys and me alone on an abandoned floor 
where the guard thought this was funny and I was like, okay, I'm gonna leave them. I'm not dealing with this, even if it's the right place, I don't care. They're already laughing at me, it doesn't matter. And then this guy followed me out all the way and he was like, where do you live? What's your number? I'm just trying to talk to you, I'm just trying to be nice. And I'm like, I'm sorted for, I don't need friends, leave me alone. And he followed me almost all the way back to my car and it doesn't sound that big in hindsight, but I didn't enjoy that. And this is supposed to be a government official place. And there was a guard there laughing with everyone and now I kind of just feel ridiculous but I shouldn't feel ridiculous because it shouldn't happen in the first place so I'm just gonna go drop off some stuff and then go back home and then spend some time with my kittens until Aiden comes back.